Alright guys, welcome to a, another video from uh, NWA. I uh, noticed that my Taurus needed to be cleaned again. I haven't shot it in a while, but uh, I didn't clean it the last time I put it away or anything. And I'm really meticulous about cleaning, so I decided to make a video on how I clean my guns. It may be totally different compared to what anybody else does, but uh, I uh, I really, really like to clean it keep a clean gun um, so first of all I'll do a safety check on it just to just to show you there's nothing in the magazine the magazine's actually going to be out of it uh, so it's now empty I can take it apart and this one's really cool because you can just use those two knobs right there on each well I guess the one knob on each side uh, to pull it apart. Uh, the spring in here is just like a Glock. It's got that dual dual capture spring in there. Uh, then you also the barrel comes right out after that. Pretty much all apart, field strip. It like I said it's not extremely dirty, but dirty enough for me to clean it. Um, what I like to do and I already set it up is I've got some uh, old style brake free in a squirt bottle there and then uh, I put some in this little bottle cap right here and I, I, a lot of times I'll uh, just use some of these q-tips and apply this oil in here to break down some of this this crap if it's been on here enough or it just gives me something to to really get it off there. And th this gun likes to come clean anyway so it's not like it's you know gonna be caked on or nothing and the stainless likes to show absolutely everything but uh, I'm mainly doing just trying to get a coat of it on there so I can use that to uh, clean some of the old carbon off I mean, I'll probably use three or four of these. Maybe not. It just depends. It's not. It's not that dirty. It's always important to wear these gloves I got on because you never know what kind of chemicals or what kind of uh, reaction you're going to have to whatever oil you're using or whatever powder may be in the bullets the way it burned you know and get a lot of lead content usually there's not but you never know and plus it's always good to not have to smell gun oil on your hands for days you can already see had a bunch a bunch of crap in there uh, let's see Put that there there's another one Like I said, all I'm basically doing is just coating it on there to help get the uh, that carbon off there because I haven't cleaned it in so long, which is horrible to do, I know, but and I know that guns are just made to be shot and whatever, and it's just good to take care of them, clean them after every use because that way, you know, they remain in decent condition and they don't mess up on you when you actually need them rather than when you're messing around with them. Now what I'm going to do is I got uh, this towel over here, which you can obviously see I've used before, this kind of thing. Uh, I just go through and wipe that oil off. Start out with you can see it was it was it was fairly dirty, um, but you know stainless shows absolutely everything, no matter what you do. So it's going to be it's going to look dirty, and it could be just barely powder residue or whatever on the on the outside 
But that the brake free stuff, uh, which they have now, where you can get it in just a spray aerosol can. Uh, but we had some old stuff that's still good, still works just fine. Used it on every one of our rifles, and it doesn't mess anything up yet. And it seems to keep them keep them in a pretty good condition. Well, that's the main thing I like about this this gun too. Is it it comes clean so well, even though I. You know, I may put, say I put a hundred rounds through it or something in one weekend or something, it'll be dirty, but I'll be able to almost, I mean, you can tell, it's not even really, doesn't even really look dirty now. I, I guess I could have showed you it before, but, it's, uh, this thing really doesn't wear at all or nothing, or, no, it's pretty awesome. I, I, I have fun with this gun, so, I mean, I, I know some people don't like Tauruses and um, you know, night, some, some of the 1911s aren't up to par with some people, but I, I noticed that they're guns that aren't copies of another gun, really. I mean, yeah, this one show, you know, shares several, several deals, or several... Uh, aesthetic value almost with a Glock like as far as the way it comes apart and you know some of the you could say the reliability on it I mean it really is a fairly reliable pistol for being you know really a starter pistol if that I mean I know they're kinda hard to come by now but I think it's because they don't make them really anymore and they're a decent pistol I, I really haven't had any problem with this these these ones that are actually Taurus brand, not some kind of copy or whatever, end up looking pretty dang nice and they seem to work well. So I mean, I'd i probably trust this one. And they hold they hold quite a bit of rounds. This one holds, you know, 17 plus one, and uh, it's a it's a freaking blast to shoot. So I, I mean, that's nothing wrong with that. Um, Another thing I do, I mean, that I'm pretty much done with the slide. It's all clean inside and out. I mean, I yeah, it wasn't even really dirty in the grooves on there, but uh, decided to go ahead and clean it anyway, just to make sure that everything was was good. I always like to lube up the springs, make sure that they stay nice and. nice and well lubed up because if, they do, if they're not they'll you know the action could not work it could not put your round in it could you know it could do a lot of things that would mess up the spring is the main thing that allows your slide to slide back into you know place after a shot's been ejected so you know I just coat the whole thing in oil and then what I'll do is I'll I'll take the cloth I'll rub it on it. You don't want to pull down on the spring because that can essentially stretch it you know and I, I mean I don't know how sensitive these are to actually stretching but you definitely definitely don't want to pull too hard on them just to make sure but this the spring deal is kind of kind of cool the way it the way it works Look at that double double spring action there so it's kind of it's built a lot it has a lot in common with the Glock um, there's some I know there's some 1911's some of the SIGs that have those or whatever brand it is but um, I mean I think this this pistol does a lot of cool stuff that most pistols around that same price range don't seem to you know end up with Uh, but there's the basically the top slide and that spring is all lubed up now. Uh, now what I also like to do let's take this other end of the one I didn't use on the barrel I like to run some so it's brake free on it brake some of this carbon next to it um, really it's the one kind of closest to 
just open air is the end of the barrel whenever you have it just sitting but it's fairly dirty uh, I don't like a dirty gun I guess you could call me like Forrest Gump I'm sitting here cleaning his gun but I like it uh, all nice and clean so that way when I go to use it I'm not you know gonna think about malfunctions because it's not lubed or it's not up to par with where I think it should be. Um, now another cool thing is these barrels pretty much come polished from the factory the feed ramp and I think that's that's a pretty good little extra deal to get whenever you're buying just a fairly cheap pistol you know I'd, I don't know how often companies really do that nowadays but it's kind of nice to get that just that little extra touch on their actual their actual their actual brand of pistol not the, you know like a copy or whatever uh, this one the barrel is fairly dirty on the inside uh, so I'm just gonna use this brush they sent with it um, it's gonna put a little extra oil in there. You know, it's okay if it gets on that rag. I really don't want it on my desk, but it's gonna take the brush and push it down in there. Get all the as much as I can clean. Usually, you're not really supposed to do that, but. get that out of there no way for me to actually show you well you can kinda see down there how how clean that is uh, now it is fairly oily um, I usually you know I, it doesn't bother me that it's really got oil in there um, I need to get a so I'll probably run a swab through it later but it yeah it's alright actually but um, actually I'll just run this down through here a couple more times wipe it off at the end Yeah, that's better. There's not as much oil in there now. You don't want oil build up on the inside of your barrel either, really, because I mean, if you get too much, um, you know, it may not happen on a pistol that often, but if you get too much, that's where the obstruction in the barrel uh, comes into play. You don't you don't want to use too much, and you don't want to use too less, because if you don't have enough oil to really clean all the stuff off in there, then you end up with a mess with your bullet trying to go down the chamber and this is where you can see a lot of times there's spots you missed or there's a little piece of something on there which is awful but I mean, this is just kind of how I go through and clean it. I mean, everybody else is, could be different, but I just try to make it look as good and keep it functioning as good as possible. But I'll go ahead and my barrel's now really clean and all nice and neat. It does have a little bit of wear and tear from being shot so many times, but. Uh, like I said, this gun is super easy to put back together. Um, in that previous video, I showed you a little bit, but it uh, slides all back together. You know, it's that easy. <laughs> um, then I'll show you how to put the actual gun back together in a little bit. Uh, it doesn't look like it's extremely dirty. Maybe back there it is. Um, 
once again I like to use q-tips and just run it across some of the parts on here it's kinda hard to get all, to all these parts in here because there's just there's so many little pieces and But, uh, I really do like to keep my guns clean. So I, I like to put a lot of, a little bit of oil on there just to make sure that I get absolutely. This one's kind of cool too. It's got a little frame or a little ramp into the frame plus the ramp that's on the end of the barrel. So it kind of helps it feed pretty much whatever you want to put in there. Uh, now I'm probably going a little overboard on the. On the actual cleaning part, uh, but and wipe it down. Just basically a field strip to ensure that it's all clean and all good. I always do a little function test. That's actually how you take it apart, right there. Is that little these two little indents work that deal in the middle. And I can't believe that this pistol actually. Oh, glove rip. That's awesome. I uh, can't believe that the. Uh, that's all that really holds the slide on besides these two grooves and this groove back here. These, these grooves in the back. Um, well, that's nice. Well, that's what you get, I guess, for buying gloves that don't fit gigantic ass hands. But. Uh, good thing is I was pretty much done with this anyway um, but it looks like everything's pretty much well clean I don't have anything to really take out back here to have to clean it hasn't been shot that much to where it's you know everything's caked in there um, but now it's pretty much ready to assemble and do a check on there this one's pretty cool just to put it back together. I know I showed in my other video, but I'll show you on this one. Two little notches, put it down on there, and the little click is just slight, and it's it's back together. So now, good. We'll put the magazine there. Make sure it still locks back, slides forward. So yeah. So. It is 100% clean now to me. Um, like I said everything looks all shined up and nice and it's actually really smooth. Anyway, that is how to clean a PT-809. Uh, I'll show you it's all nice and clean and all cleaned up. Even the barrel's all cleaned up. No rounds in here, of course. But, uh, well, guys, that's how I clean my guns. Um, doesn't take too long, you know. It's a, about a 20-minute video, but that, that's because I'm explaining everything. Usually, usually it won't take that long. Um, always remember... Use an empty magazine. You never want to have bullets around anything that you're cleaning, messing with, unless you intend to shoot it. Uh, whether it's competition or you know, whatever you come up with. Um, also, something I noticed that I didn't mention in my video before: uh, when you hold this pistol like you, you like they tell you to in the uh, actual, I guess you could say, best pistol grip uh, way, is there you know when you wrap your your finger around the front. Now, this one actually has that 
grip in the front. It doesn't actually have anything stippled or anything like that, but it's got that grip, and I just really kind of noticed that. Of course, my finger is almost too long. You know, it almost like wraps all the way around. So I have a different hold than somebody might if they have smaller hands, but that's the good thing about this too is the pistol. This is a full-size pistol, so fits my huge hands. So, but uh, so I'd show you that with the cleaning and everything, you know, I usually probably shouldn't take that long, but you know, remember to subscribe to our videos and like and give some comments to see if we uh, see if we can come up with anything else to to shoot or anything else to to set up for a good video. Maybe I'll do an AR cleaning video next. But thanks guys.